Here, we just uh, present the total network forensic solutions from decision group. And all these uh, network forensic solutions actually are developed by decision group, R&D teams. At this moment, um, there are around 11 network forensic solutions from decision group. And we also offer three different kinds of uh, training for different purposes to our audience and the uh, partners. The first product uh, from Decision Group Network Forensic Product, actually it is the uh, e-detective. E-detective, actually it is the uh, flagship product from Decision Group. It's uh, the best uh, solution for auditing and uh, record keeping with the uh, ISO 27 thousands and the subbing Oxley and the HIPAA. And also you can use this e-detective for network behavior management. You can monitor all the internet activity inside the corporations or organizations. And for the uh, law enforcement authority staff, they can use e-detect for the tactic forensic analysis and the uh, cyber investigation. Basically, inside the e-detective, there are couples of uh, modules for different functionality. The first one, actually, it is the first module to take network data packet. We call the uh, sniffing module. Behind the uh, sniffing module, there is a second module called the uh, decoding. Decoding module, they will try to read the headers of data packet. And with the uh, information from the header, it will try to collect all the payroll together for the uh, third module, reconstruction module. The reconstruction module, basically, it would uh, try to reassemble it or the payroll from the data packets uh, based on the uh, sequence numbers and conduct the uh, data reconstruction. After you reconstruct the original data contents, you will try to save into uh, the database with the uh, header information and uh, into the uh, media file with the uh, payrolls. And the last module actually is the report uh, utilities. Based on the uh, data inside the uh, database, as well as the uh, media files, the report utility will provide the capability of analysis based on these uh, data in terms of uh, timestamp, IP address, and the keywords. So that's the uh, whole entire infrastructure inside the e-detective. And also, these uh, devices can provide a very effective uh, defense for the uh, data linkage protection and the uh, lawful interception as well as the uh, network forensics. It is the uh, best network forensics solutions in the world. The next one actually is the uh, wireless uh, detective. Um, the the difference between the uh, wireless detective and the uh, e-detective, actually wireless detective is a target on the uh, wireless Wi-Fi network. Because of the uh, physical nature of the uh, wireless network, usually the capture rate will be very low, even below 50%. But decision group over a unique design, we use the uh, multiple set to intercept Wi-Fi radio frequency. By this way, uh, the capture rate of the Wi-Fi data packet will increase to over 90%. And also the wireless detective also support different kinds of a wireless LAN, like a uh, AO2.11ABG, even N, by different antenna. And it also provides the automatic WEP key cracking functionalities. Also, um, this uh, portable uh, devices 
actually they can provide all-in-one function from the uh, data captures module until the report utility. It is the uh, very convenient uh, portable devices for the uh, police, uh, military intelligence, and also the enterprise auditors and for the legal de department to collect the uh, content information from the wireless network. And it is also the powerful smallest forensic device in the world. The next, actually, it is the uh, e-detective uh, devices. Basically, it is for the uh, law enforcement management facility and also compliance with the ETSITS 101671 as well as ETSIES 201671. Basically, it provides the decoding capabilities on the uh, network traffic. And with the output, data format, uh, compliance with the XML uh, standards in predefined way. By this way, um, our system can take the data directly from the uh, mediation platform. And after decoding and save in the uh, reconstructed data format, it will also output the data with the XML description files and to the backend system for the further analysis in the law, for, law enforcement management facilities. That's the major purpose of the uh, e-detective LEMF product. The next one, actually it is enterprise data guard system. This system basically is used for the uh, intranet monitor. So it will not target all the uh, most common protocols on the internet. Basically, it will focus on the uh, common protocol inside the internet, such as a uh, database uh, SQL command, and email activity, and the file servers activity, and also it includes uh, some central monitor utility uh, for the sky. Basically, this system is used inside the enterprise. With the appropriate deployment, it can detect all the activity between the server farm as well as um, the client PC. So it will keep all the activities records of the uh, database transactions emails, and some other uh, important transaction with the uh, file server or VOIP um, servers or Skype activities. With this uh, enterprise data guard system, the legal department or the auditor department can easily uh, monitor or the uh, employee network behavior in order to prevent uh, business conduct issues. Next one is the data retention management system. Basically, the data retention management system is used for the enterprise or the uh, government agency with multiple e-detective or EDGS or the WD system in front. And this uh, system can centralize all the data collected from the uh, front end e-detective or WD systems. So all the uh, data will concentrate in this uh, system and for data retention uh, for uh, more than six months periods. Basically, in the enterprise auditing department, they need to keep all the data collected from front end e-detective for around two years to three years in order for um, the uh, auditing purpose inside the enterprise. For the law enforcement agency, basically they also need the data collected from the front end e-detective for the uh, criminal database, especially for the uh, criminal pattern analysis 
they can compare um, the data from the uh, network with the uh, current captured data. So they can easily conduct the uh, criminal patterns. So that's the uh, purpose for the uh, data retention management system. Basically, it can store up to 16 terabyte data in one single system. If you have more than 16 terabyte of the data, you can add a more data retention management system. All these uh, data retention management system can work in parallel together. So provide the customer the best uh, data storage for text mining or data mining or for some other link analysis. So that's the uh, functions of the uh, data retention management system. The next one is a centralized management system, especially for an organization with the multiple office, branch office in different area, or uh, if for the uh, country LEA authority, they want to monitor multiple ISP or telecom service provider. They can use uh, the central management system in their backend. Uh, command and control center. With this uh, centralized management system, all the user can log on within single site and access the front-end data collector such as uh, eDetective or WD or EDGS or ED2S system. With all these uh, data, they would centralize in data retention management system so the user log on from the uh, centralized management system can also uh, conduct the uh, data management from the uh, DRMS system. By this uh, design, it can also provide a lot of uh, function and also integrate with the backend uh, command and the control system. So our solution can provide and consistent and unified uh, platform for state uh, military intelligence or for the law enforcement authority or for the uh, centralized data center inside the global enterprise. Next is e detective coding centers. Basically, in the real environment, a lot of uh, enterprise auditor or the staff from law enforcement authority, sometimes they will get the PCAP file, the raw data file, directly from ISP or from the telecom service provider. Basically, they can use e-detective decoding center to fit in all these uh, PCAP files. Our system will read the file and will conduct the uh, data reconstruction process and reconstruct all the uh, original content based on the uh, PCAT file feeding. So it can also support as many protocols as eDetective does. So that's the uh, major function and the purpose of eDetective decoding centers. The next one is a powerful HTTPS SSL interceptor. For this uh, product, basically we provide this uh, product try to intercept all the uh, SSL or TLS network traffic by the way of man in the middle attack. With such kind of the uh, functions, we can easily decode most of the uh, SSL protected uh, network traffic. And also, uh, we also provide some customization service if the customer need a certificate replacement. So you would minimize the confusion of the uh, end subscribers, the browser side. So that's the way uh, Decision Group HTTPS SSL interceptors provided for our customers. The next one is the VOIG Detective. V 
QID detector, basically it is a target on the voice over IP traffic. Basically, in the common voice over IP traffic, there are couples of codecs inside, like G.711, G.726, G.729, and ILBC. Basically, decision group VOIP detective can support all these codecs. If, if there is a unsupported codec, uh, we can also change the embedded codecs to fulfill the customer expectation. This is also part of the decision group customization service for our important customers. Next one is our very excellent portable software we call the Forensics Investigation Toolkit. Basically, it is based on the Windows-based software. You can implement Forensic Investigation Toolkit into your portable laptop or into your PC. So with this kinds of the uh, software, you can easily conduct the uh, traffic, network traffic content analysis. For the auditor, when they collect or the PCAP file, they can also use uh, this software to easily uh, understand what's the contents inside the network traffic for the purpose of audit. And also for the uh, government uh, officers or the law enforcement authority, they can use our system in the field to conduct the uh, network forensic analysis and cyber investigation. It is uh, very convenient to use this software in terms of uh, convenient and economically. So that's the uh, functions of the uh, Forensic Investigation Toolkit. And basically, it is uh, very common in the college, especially in some network forensic courses. A lot of uh, college use our software for education purpose. Network Investigation Toolkits. Network Investigation Toolkits is a very powerful uh, devices provided by decision group. This devices provides the network traffic interception by two ways. One is through the uh, wire network, and the second it is through the wireless network. So it combines both the functionality of e detective and wireless detective. Basically, it is also very common weapons uh, for the law enforcement authority as well as the private investigators. Basically, by these uh, devices, um, the user can intercept a local network traffic. And in the meantime, if he wants to intercept one file network, he can also use the multiple Wi-Fi adapter USB connectors with these uh, devices to intercept the Wi-Fi traffic. And the most important function um, this system provided, actually it is the uh, interception capability on the HTTPS SSL traffic by man in the middle attack. So with this a lot of functionalities, it is a very powerful weapon by law enforcement authority to conduct the uh, cyber investigations in the field. The next is the training program provided by the decision group. The first one is the network packet forensic analysis training. 
Basically, all the、uh, decision group network forensics devices provide unique menus and report utility for our customer and audience. But basically, you still need to have a full knowledge of the data packets as well as the original contents presentation. So, this training program. Is for the users of decision group network forensic、uh, product to let them fully understand what's the contents they can perceive、uh, from our solutions, and also what kind of data analysis utilities provided by decision group network forensic solutions. So you can use this data analysis utility to conduct all the、uh, data behind the contents. That's a very important, especially especially for the、uh, enterprise auditor as well as for the、uh, LEA officers. So that's the、uh, major purpose of the network packet forensic analysis training. It can be three days. Training up to five days training. So after the the training, all the attendees will have the full knowledge of the、uh, network、uh, forensic analysis, and they can easily perform、uh, their job with the decision group network forensic systems. The next one actually is an extensive training program about the cyber crime investigation. Basically, in this、uh, investigation,、uh, we will provide a lot of useful material for the、uh, military intelligence staff as well as the、uh, law enforcement authority with the contents of the.、Uh, Cyber crime investigation skill with the VOIP and the telecom, as well as the uh, cyber uh, online services, and also we co-work with the National Taiwan Central Police University. Also provide a lot of legal process behind the cyber crime investigation, in order to protect the human rights. The most importance we will offer systematically、uh, methodologies of the data analysis on the、uh, cyber crime investigation, and we also let the students or attendees to understand what's going on about the common IT system, and what's the weakness, and how the cyber criminal try to penetrate the protection. Of information security, and behind at the end of this、uh, training program, we also provide a one-day workshop to let the attended、uh, be familiar with the skill、uh, delivers in the classroom. So this is a very good, very intensive、uh, training programs for all the、uh, enterprise auditor. And the military intelligence staff, and the law enforcement authority officers. The last one is the national security surveillance training. Basically, it is a six hours training program for the senior management team in the national security agency of the states. In this、uh, course, we will give a very clear、uh, presentation about what's the、uh, national security for the、uh, cyber world, and what's your target, and how do you conduct the、uh, national security through the internet surveillance, and the most important, what's the、uh, methodology, and how you deploy. 
your network's balance based on your country's demand. We also offer a case study from different countries and pro and the cons. So it is the purpose of this training program for the senior management of the national security agencies. The next slide, um, basically we provide a detailed information about what kinds of uh, online uh, protocol or the uh, decision group network forensics solutions support. At this moment, uh, more than 180 network protocols uh, our system can intercept. And this number is accumulating month by month because there are a lot of new online services and the online protocols appears on the cyber world. So from the table, you can see our system can intercept all the generic email. We can also target more than 21 web mails in different geological regions. And we can also target on the uh, most common instant message too, like MSN, ICQ, QQ, Google Talk. For the uh, web page, web FTP and the web video, our system, of course, can intercept all these online services. Even we can target on the uh, most common FTP services as well as a lot of uh, P2P utilities for the telnet, uh, also for your VOIP services we just uh, talked about. And the most important, we also target on the uh, social network service like uh, Facebook, Twitter, Plug. And the next thing, actually, um, the most important services now, our R&D team are targeting, actually it is the mobile online services from the uh, iPhone or Android smartphone. Um, in the uh, next uh, 12 months, there will be more than 20 or 30 Mobile online services will be in our target uh, interception list. The last is the database. At this moment, our system can target on couples the most common database for interception on the uh, SQL command. So I just uh, give a brief introduction about the uh, protocol interception list. The last one, uh, I just uh, give you a very brief introduction about the uh, decision group. Basically, decision group was established in 1986. At this moment, it has uh, 26 uh, years experience in ICT industry. In the beginning, decision group only designed and manufactured the industry automatic controller cars for different uh, applications and purpose. In the year 2000, decision group set up the second business department called the Network Forensic Software Business Department. Um, until now, there is a 12 years past. So inside the uh, decision group, there are 54 software and hardware engineer with a 5 PhD and a 10 master degree working on the uh, network forensic software. We also have seven different branch offices in the world. Headquarters is in Taiwan. We have a branch office in Singapore covering the market in ASEAN countries. We have office in China 
cover the China, the greater China market. We have an office in Canada to cover the、uh, markets in America. We also have an office in Germany covering the markets in Europe. We also have an office in Japan, in Zimbabwe. And we also have、uh, service、uh, centers in Hong Kong to cover both of our important customers. Basically, decision group marketing strategy is、uh, very very simple. We only doing business through our partners. So we try to recruit three different kinds of partners. One is OEM, ODM customers, and the second is the system integrators channels, and the last one is the alliance of a consulting firm, legal firm, or training centers in different regions. So that's the、uh, brief introduction about decision group. Thank you for your patience.